a good sales meeting is not as easy as one would suspect. You need a lot of knowledge about your product or your service, but this is not enough. You also need a lot of good communication techniques. And next to that, some psychological knowledge and even a little bit of flair. A good sales training can really help you in understanding and performing a better sales meeting. So if you don't have a lot of knowledge or background concerning sales, then a good training is really recommended. If you pick a training, pick one that not only fits your business, but also fits yourself as a person. There are a lot of methods going from a more defensive approach who focus on hard sales up to methods that focus on being compliant, offering trust and have a more soft approach. If you do, however, start a sales meeting without a lot of knowledge or background, it is good to know that there are a few elements that come back in almost every sales meeting. The first of all is bonding and rapport. This is a part where you start with some small talk in order to get some trust from your prospects or to connect with them and set the tone for the rest of your sales meeting. If you are well prepared, you already made the goal of your meeting clear in a previous context. If not, it is good to do so as soon as both parties sit down, so everybody knows what to expect. In a good sales meeting, it is not just the salesperson who talks and tries to sell his products. In a good sales talk, you try to start a dialogue with your prospects and you start to see if there is a good match between their pains and needs and your value proposition. An important part of your sales meeting is budget. If your prospect shows interest in your product or your service, it is important to get the budget clear. If you have flexible prices or you work with quotes, it is not always easy to do so in a sales meeting. In that case, you can ask them questions about the elements that have influence on the quote and you can get them the quote afterwards. You do, however, can provide them with a price range so you can get some first feedback and see the reaction of your prospect. If you both agree on the value that you have to offer and the price to be paid, you have a first sort of agreement and you can go look into the details of the follow-up. For example, this can be about invoicing, but it can also be about delivery times or any other information that your customer still needs.